Virgos, hello, it's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. How are you? Welcome to your general love reading for July 14th of 2022. I hope all is well with you, your loved ones, your pets, and welcome to your general love read. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. It's good to see you. Make sure you hit me with that like button, especially if the reading resonates. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you want to chat. I love talking to y'all in the comments. Subscribe, share, tell a friend. Okay, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, check out the description box below. You'll also find my Instagram page if you want to be friends on Instagram. And there's also a link that will take you to the extended reading for this read. I will talk more about that at the end of this reading if you're interested in purchasing that. But there's a link that will take you over to Vimeo. And if you're not a member yet, click the join button. I would love to have you as a part of the Secret Society. Shout out to all my members. I love you. All my Cross Watcher members and Virgo members. You have a members read coming this evening, okay? I'm also banging out personal readings. So if you've been waiting on a personal reading, I'm starting them this evening, all right? So you should have your reading soon. Just have patience, all right? And thanks for your patience, you know, and just for being awesome. So let's see, what's your theme song? Let's see, what's your theme song, Virgo, for love? It says, empath, narcissist, paradigm, divine feminine. Uh-oh, it's all about me not about you <laughs> tracy spencer it says when we get in a fight i'm always the first to apologize even if it was you who did wrong i never do enough to please you that's why i can't go on no matter what i do for you it's never any good for you you always got to complain that's why i got to say i can't stay empath narcissist paradigm divine feminine wow so some of you um could be dealing with it wow and look what's on the bottom <laughs> empath narcissist paradigm divine masculine wow so wow both of them came out and it says only when you're lonely by genuine as i close my eyes i start thinking things is this real love is this love real love and all that it brings when i close my eyes only you i see with another man this is killing me i am your man but only when you're lonely if i was to bounce that's when you'd want me i am your man but only when you're lonely you say it's not the same, but I love you only. Wow. Wow. So some of you could be either dealing with that with your divine um, feminine or a divine masculine. All right. Tough situation you're in there, Virgo. Let's get you some um, romance angel messages. Wow. Romance angel messages. Let's see. What are the romance angel messages for my Virgos? From the universe oh that just popped out passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy passion so it's important to keep that you know fire and love and that passion and love and don't let it die out no matter what you're going through or what happens or how you feel okay you got love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive beautiful and on the bottom of the deck you got let go of controls issues let this situation unfold naturally okay in the middle here you got worth waiting for in reverse divine timing is at work in your love life so some of you things could be i just got i felt like things could be moving maybe some of you have been waiting for a while and now you know now you're seeing the effects of divine timing that that has been in in, in um work in your love life maybe you haven't really seen it but now you are starting to see it but a lot of you are definitely putting yourself first which is important your angels say make sure you love yourself first because your self-respect is what makes people want to respect you okay and passion don't you know don't allow the passion to burn out keep the fire and what do i mean by that you know sometimes like you know maybe some you know maybe when you you know five years ago you were a hopeless romantic but you know breakup after breakup or bad relationship or connection after another five years later now you don't really have that you know that romantic buzz to you anymore and it's because of what you've endured but your angels are saying keep that passion okay make sure you keep that ignited all right beautiful so let's now get into your tarot and see the overall messages for you in love what's going on with my virgos in love universe let's see Virgos in love universe. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos in love. What is currently going on with Virgos in love? My Virgos in love. 
show me what I need to see, please, universe. What is going on with my Virgos in love? Let's see what we got. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. The Star in reverse. Aquarian energy. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles. Two of Swords. The Seven of Swords. What the hell was that? Kaylee? That scared the shit out of me. Uh-oh. Bottom of the deck. The Magician in Reverse. What's going on here, Virgo? And under that is the Four of Wands with the Judgment. So I don't know what's going on. It seems like you, somebody has your attention here. It seems like somebody got your attention, but I feel like some of you, there's a worry here that The feeling isn't mutual. Okay. The feeling isn't mutual. Now, I don't know if this is coming from your person or this is coming from you. I'm going to look individually. But with the seven of swords here, I feel like somebody trying to either sneak off or somebody getting... Because it's like somebody's, somebody's indecisive. Somebody's not sure what to do here. You seem pretty solid with the page of pentacles. You seem pretty interested, pretty dependable, pretty reliable here. But the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. So I think there's a question here of, is this going to be worth it in the long term? And I don't know what this Seven of Swords energy is. This could mean cheating, deception. It could mean hidden things. It can mean trying to sneak off, okay? Some of y'all, something could have even happened with finances, okay? Maybe somebody, you know, but it's, it's not an equal, it doesn't seem like it's equally balanced here between you and this person so i want to see what's going on let's look individually okay what feelings does virgo have for this person what feelings does virgo have towards this person What feelings does Virgo have for this person? What feelings does Virgo have towards this person? Eight of Wands in reverse. <laughs> Some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn. That card, same card came out for Capricorn. You blocking somebody or you not talking to somebody? Some of you. Four Swords. Five of Cups in reverse. One more card, please, for how Virgo feels about this person. Six of Wands in reverse. So things could be either moving really, really slow or somebody could have got blocked or somebody's not communicating with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay. Let's look at your person. How does this person feel about Virgo? What feelings does this person have towards Virgo? You're also in this like your resting energy right now with the Four of Swords. Six of Swords in reverse. Ah, Seven of Cups. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, y'all mutual energy is the Page of Cups. Wow. Okay. Well, there's definitely feelings here. <laughs> there's definitely feelings here. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. It, it feels like your person, I'm going to be honest with some of you, your person may still be battling some shit from the past, whoever this is. And for others of you, it could be that um, they're still looking at their options with the seven of cups because we know the seven of cups represents options so for some of you this person could have options and they could still be because they're coming up as the queen of swords in reverse this person already has like trust issues whoever they are i don't know if it's because of any, something that you did or just shit they dealt with in the past that has nothing to do with you 
but either way they got trust issues Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you, they don't even want something serious right now, or they're not sure, or they're trying to focus on their pentacles. But some of you Virgos, you feel like this person's not giving you enough attention. You want more attention from this person. Let's see. Show me this Eight of Wands in reverse. Why is the Eight of Wands in reverse here for your feelings towards this person, Virgo? The seven of wands some of you are dealing with a fire sign i don't know why i said that i meant to say a water sign so maybe you are dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius or you could be dealing with a water sign with the page of cups okay seven of wands on top of the eight of wands somebody's guarded somebody's very very guarded i don't know if it's you let me see the five of cups in reverse because I, I see you I see you healing from somebody from the past. Yeah, three of cups. I see you healing from somebody from the past. It took some time for some of you like you've been going slowly, but I feel like you there's there's something there could have been some an ex of yours that it, you couldn't get over or just hurt from the past disappointment regret whatever it is you're putting that shit as mama what's wrong with you you putting that shit aside and you're focusing you know on the future and some of you you just now started like going out or hanging out more but you and this person have a good time together three of cups show me the four of swords here i feel like there may be some quiet time right now between the two of you eight of pentacles in reverse you trying to focus on on your career your money you trying to work on yourself it feels like let me get one more card on that four of swords please universe thank you so much angels yeah five of pentacles in reverse with that four of pentacles again on the bottom here yeah some of you you're focusing on money trying to save money trying to bring you know some more um some changes in your life i just heard show me the six of wands in reverse because some of you virgos you really want your career to take off and some of you feel like your career isn't taking off like it's not where you want it to be nine of cups in reverse yeah there's a little bit of discontentment here the eight of cups uh-oh yeah there's a little bit of discontentment here mm -mm. about something about you walking away from situations or a person or even a job for some of you that just isn't making you happy let me see your person why are they pulling the six of swords in reverse it's like this person can't let you go the chariot in reverse yeah it's like this person can't move forward they can't move on from you but this person is also very emotionally immature page of cups in reverse it's hard for them to express emotions but i do see communication from them show me the seven of cups the lovers see they got a connection with you though like even if this person has options it could be a gemini you're connecting with for some of you even if they do have options because i see other them looking at other cups I feel like what they have with you is a very, 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 very strong bond. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Strong bond. Let me see the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Possibly even soulmate connection with this person. The King of Pentacles in reverse. Your person's very into money. They very into their career. Two of Cups in reverse with the Six of Swords. Mm-mm. Y'all may be on different, like different um, financial levels or let me see the queen of swords in reverse. Some of you connecting with an air sign, Aquarius, a Libra, Gemini, four of pentacles in reverse and the star in reverse. Your person is scared to open up. Because they're scared to get their feelings hurt, whoever this is. They're scared to open up. If they open up, they feel like they're not going to get what they... They're not going to... It's not going to be real. It's not going to happen. I don't know how to really explain it. That's the best way I can explain it. The death card is on the bottom here. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay? Um, let's see. How do you see this person, Virgo? 
you see this person as the seven of swords in reverse how else do you see this person the seven of cups in reverse wow why are you seeing them as the seven of swords in reverse clarify the seven of swords in reverse the ace of swords that's about truth with the moon card there could have been some confusion but I feel like I see you getting the truth or you getting clarity about this person. Show me the seven of cups in reverse. The king of wands. You see this person as really, really attractive. They get a lot of attention. And they look really good. They look really, really good. You feel like this person may have options, but you feel like they're not phased by them. You feel like this person is attracted to you. You also feel like y'all have really strong conversation. How does this person see you, Virgo? How do they see you? They see you as the death in reverse. How else do they see you? Could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. They see you as the king of swords. Wow. So they, they, they're seeing you as... <laughs> they're seeing you as somebody that's pretty straightforward. You pretty much, you know, say how you feel. Okay? You're not very emotional. You know, you're more logical. Okay? Show me the death in reverse. They also feel like you're about to go through a transformation process. The three of pentacles in reverse. Clarify the death in reverse. You're going through a transformation process that's going to bring you a lot of peace. Let me see the king of swords. Clarify the king of swords. Why do they see you as the king of swords? The two of wands in reverse. And the ace of pentacles they they see growth with you they see potential with you but they feel like you you hold back a little bit with the two of wands in reverse because that's that's like a hesitant energy they feel like you hold back a little bit like you're because the two of wands in reverse can mean a lack of planning but look the ten of cups is here okay there's that ten of cups energy again that wish fulfillment energy wow some of you could be connecting with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Let's look at the hidden messages from this person to you. All right. If you guys want to um, look at those hidden messages. So it's basically messages from this person's subconscious, possibly things they've communicated to you, possibly things they have not. Okay. Or it could be things, you know, thoughts or things that you feel intuitively about how this person feels about you. We're going to go ahead and pull three cards from their subconscious for you. Now, we will reveal these in the extended. If you would like to join me in the extended, like I said, the link is in the description box below. For those of you that are not familiar with the extended, I do a full spread on your person. I see more about how they feel about you and what their future actions will be moving forward towards you. And then I also go ahead and um, pull you some advice cards using Oracle cards okay, from the universe. All right. So if you guys want to join me, I would love to see you there. The link is below. If not, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. If the reading resonated, please hit me with the like button, leave a comment, share and subscribe, and I will see you guys at the next read. If not, I'll see you in the extended and I love you all. Take care. Bye.